Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So um, it is the 26th of September and 80 years ago today um, Corsairs um, I believe landed or uh, yeah landed at the airfield on Peru Island um, in order that they could support the um, marine assaults on the tunnels and things like that that the Japanese were still hiding in. Um, now I showed this uh, model as a stash ad and Rick from Rick's Kits um, reached out to me and said would I like to do a body build and of course um, I'm more than happy to do a body build with him. So I think Rick is doing the same aircraft. Uh, so yeah, so I hope the, the only issue is I haven't got the markings for the actual um, marine squadron that uh, flew from the field, airfield. Um, it was VMF uh, 114, um, so I will have a look through the other Corsair kits that I've got from Tamiya to see if they've got anything that I can use to try and make this into the actual um, squadron that did use the airfield back in 1944. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the sprues. You may be interested to see uh, what uh, Tamiya have um, provided. So here's the first sprue guys, um, unfortunately I'm having to pan it quite a bit because uh, it's such a large sprue, uh, in fact it uh, filled the entirety of that box, um, obviously with the other sprues. Uh, so you've got the two fuselage halves, you've got the engine there, you've got the cowling as well, um, you've got uh, the tail planes, um, the undercarriage uh, seat, um, control panels. Uh, that's the um, engine hub there. Uh, arrestor hook. Um, I don't think um, this will be used in this particular aircraft because obviously it was being used for um, land operate. Um, sorry, from landing on airstrips as opposed to aircraft carriers. Uh, I'll do a couple of stills so that you can see perhaps uh, some this parts of this sprue in a bit more detail. So here we have the wings. Um, now this model can be built with folded wings, but again, I think uh, for the aircraft that we used on the island, the wings were um, constructed uh, so they couldn't be folded. Um, I think they were just, I don't know whether they bolted the uh, sections together so they, they couldn't be used like that anymore because obviously they weren't being used on an aircraft carrier. Um, so yeah, so you've got the wings, you've got the flaps on here as well. Uh, you've got the intakes, I don't know whether you can, well they're just up the top there. Uh, again, I'll do some stills of this uh, particular sprue. So I can get a bit closer with this one. Uh, obviously we've got, um, interestingly, A-bomb. Uh, or a fuel tank, external fuel tank. Uh, this is the rear of the seat. Um, sorry, the seat sits on that, so uh, yeah. Um, I think these may be the pedals. Uh, this is something that goes on the wing of the Corsair for a particular variant, I won't be using that. And we got the pilot as well. So all the sprues were individually bagged, which is really nice. Obviously this one was as well, the clear part sprue. Uh, you get two of the sliding uh, hoods. I think one is if you want to have the hood closed and use the other one if you have the hood open because it's got a slide over the rear, so it's slightly wider, I think, um, which is very cool. Here we have the decal sheet. Um, as I say, uh, there are three different um, iterations that you can do. I think these are the Jolly Rogers to be honest uh, here um, but none of them are for the uh, the squadron that I wanted to depict. Um, it's no biggie really I just wanted to mark the anniversary of, of the event uh, more than anything else. forgot to mention that although this is a buddy build with Rick it's also an entry into um, Charlie Mack's um, World War II group build 
that's uh, going on until 2025 um, on the anniversary of the surrender of the Japanese so plenty of time to get involved if you want to guys and I just wanted to do something to mark an actual event uh, in World War II and I will do others as well uh, but as you can see the um, the decals look very nice indeed so I'm really looking forward to, to using those and I think they, they really make a model. Um, you paint it and then you put the decals on, it's when you put the decals on for me that I really you know, can see the, uh, the end result that it's going to look really nice. So I've panned out again to try and get as much detail as I can on the instructions. Um, <clears throat> when was the last time I built a Tamiya kit? I cannot remember. I think it's been a while. You guys are probably shouting at me that it was three weeks ago. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. They have this reputation of just um, <laughs> building themselves, which I am more than happy to, uh, to do a kit that uh, fits like that. So these are the first uh, three uh, construction stages. Then we have the next uh, four stages. I'm sorry about the light, guys. It's uh, not particularly good at the moment. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but again, I, I'm, I don't know whether this is an option up here. Um, it, because we've got a landing gear wheel here as opposed to the arrestor hook and landing gear wheel. So, or rear wheel I should say. I was tempted to buy um, some resin um, tyres for this. Uh, but I decided against it. I just, it's an additional expense that at the moment I can't really afford. So now I've already shown you stages six and seven. Here's uh, stages eight and nine. Um, nine isn't particularly necessary because obviously it's the showing the bomb and the um, fuel external fuel tank. And then the last two stages of the construction uh, with the flaps, uh, the canopy. Um, it also looks like uh, you don't use an aerial on the, on this particular build, uh, depending on which one you're doing. And here we've got the construction of the wings, if you're going to have them um, folded out or folded up. So here we have the three iterations that you can make the aircraft up into. Uh, we've got VF-17 aboard USS Bunker Hill, VMF-213 Marine Corps, or we've got VMF-N-532 Marine Corps. So, as I say, the um, squadron that was flying from Palu, if I'm saying that right, um, was VMF 114. So I'm going to try and see if I can rob decals uh, to get at least the squadron code or the um, aircraft number uh, on the fuselage. Um, the other thing I noticed about 114 is that the front of the engine cowling is, uh, is painted white. Um, and then there was a, I think there was a white section on the tail as well. So there you go guys, that's the uh, introduction video into my body build with Rick's kit. Um, I have seen Rick recently do an aircraft and he did a really nice job of it. Um, uh, did some nice uh, uh, pre-shading and things like that. Uh, mine will be very much more straightforward. Um, this is a rare thing for me to do a 148 scale kit, uh, especially an aircraft, so that'll be fun. Um, obviously the Corsair I quite like as an aircraft itself, but I also like the fact that quite often you can paint them uh, one colour on the upper surfaces and one colour on the lower surfaces and that's it, so it's an easier paint job, fingers crossed. One of the reasons why I got the airbrush was to get these things um, nicely painted. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Good luck Rico, I hope it goes well mate. Um, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.